Hey there, Natalie Goucher from nataliegoucher.com, your social media trainer, coach, and consultant. And today's video is going to be a brief video about how to write on top of images. So you all have seen the craze with quotes and different things like that, right? Well, what if you want to kind of bring a little bit more buzz to your video? Well, here's something that I've done in the past, and I've seen a few people in our group do it as well, so I wanted to share with you how quick and easy it is. So if you're using a Mac, you can use the screen shot feature um, to take a screenshot of your video, which I'm going to do here, but I'm on a PC right now. So I downloaded Jing, that's J-I-N-G. I'll put that below in the description as well. And it allows you to take screenshots, so it's free to download on a PC. So I'm simply going to take a screenshot of my image. And if you're wondering, why do you do something like this? Well, sometimes photos get a little bit more play in Facebook, for example, than if you were just to post the video by itself. So let's do um, 60 day video challenge screenshot. All right, so I'm gonna save that on my desktop so I can quickly grab it. Um, yeah, let's just do it on desktop. Okay, so that's saved there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to one of my favorite little cute tools and that is pickmonkey.com. P-I-C monkey.com, all right? So I'm just gonna refresh the screen and I'm going to click on edit a photo. Now there are so many options, so many things you could do with PicMonkey. I'm not going to go through them all, um, but what I will do is just show you the basic uh, writing on top of a photo, okay? So what do we call this? My 60 day, here we go. Okay, so I grab my screenshot, right? And that pops up and simply what I do is I go and click on the text which is for the P. The P represents the text and I'm not going to get super fancy. Okay well maybe I'll get a little bit fancy with you guys and this is really just super basic here. You guys are going to love this because you can use it for so many other things. So let's do um, overlay. So I'm going to click on overlay and I'm going to do something simple like uh, let's do a label. And this is going to be pretty ugly because I'm just doing it on the fly but you'll be able to get an idea. So this popped up when I did that. So let's make this big. And this video that I did, I shot today, was called um, No Excuses, I'm Calling You Out. And basically it's for people who haven't shot a video yet on the 60 Day Challenge. And I'm like, hey, you joined the challenge because you wanted a challenge. Get your ish together. <laughs> yes, I said it. All right, so I'm just going to put something funny here. You can fade this, make it a different color. I'm just going to make it a, let's make it a red. I don't know, whatever color that is. Let's fade it out a little bit, who knows, right? So you could do that. Um, and now let's add text on top of that. So again, this is not gonna be cute, it's not gonna be pretty, it's just to show you what you can do. Alrighty, so let's add it. Shoot your videos. can make it bigger. All right. So there you have it, you guys. It's super easy to do. Maybe I'll shoot another video and show you some fun things. Um, but I'm going to change the text to white, make it a little bit bigger, and ta-da. Now you have a little graphic on top, right? Super easy, super fun, and golly, there's a lot of other things you can do with PicMonkey, but again, I'm hitting my max and I don't want to go too far. So if you like this and you want more social media tips, 
please visit natalieguchet.com and join my mailing list. I will always keep you inspired and informed with the latest and greatest with social media and more. All right, see you guys on the next video.